This is a demo and review of Brand Overflow. This is one of the newer SEO tools out there. They have ran a lifetime deal promotion before, but has it improved over the years? Let's find out. Okay, so for all of my SEOs out there who do a lot of manual website audits, uh, this checklist is for you. So I wanna give you my SEO audit and roadmap checklist it's a 200 plus point checklist that you could refer to whenever you are auditing your websites, your clients' websites. You could even use this in conjunction with Brand Overflow as well. Now, this checklist is valued at $297, but you can claim this checklist completely free by clicking the link in the description. Okay, so let's get started with our brand overflow review and demo. So ever since they launched this tool about two or so years ago, uh, the UI UX has completely changed. All right. So the way it works is your websites that you add to your account are all tied to your Google search console. Okay. So you could view your Google search console data within brand overflow. Okay. So to start, um, to add a website, you need to click on Add Project. You need to log in with your Google account and then select the website that's in your Google Search Console. And then it'll show you all the keywords that are listed in Google Search Console and you could select which ones you want to track. You can even manually add keywords you want to tra track as well and then have it um, initialize the project. Okay, so it'll look like this. This is my website. So uh, you can view at a high level, you know, like how many new keywords your website have re has received, how many backlinks it's received, uh, high level website audit scores, your keyword ranking performance right here. And I really like how Brand Overflow really shows you your ranking on a device uh, level. So desktop, mobile, or tablet. Okay, so when you click onto a project, you can view additional information. So at the very top, you can add additional keywords. You can view your keyword snapshot. So if you click on this, you could see over time um, how your keywords has performed. Okay, so this is a great report to look at to send to your clients and let them know how your keyword rankings are performing. And then you could also uh, share reports as well. And then you could um, update some standard settings right here. Now I like this line graph right here because it shows you how your website has performed over you know, the past couple of months. Okay, so again, this is tied to your Google Search Console, right? So for search performance, you could see how many impressions your website has received, how many clicks, and what's your click-through rate like, right? And then you can also op uh, decide to show clicks, impressions, or CTR or not, just by clicking on and off these buttons. You can even just view the desktop data, the mobile data, or the tablet data. And then ranking breakdown is pretty cool too because it shows you how many keywords are within um, one to three ranking, four to five, six to, ten, six to 10, so on and so forth. And then new and lost keywords. So I really like this because it shows you if your, if your website is ranking for more keywords or less keywords, and it shows you if your SEO optimizations, if your new content is actually moving the needle and um, ranking for more keywords um, as, as what you are hoping for. Right, And then as you scroll down, you could see all the keywords that you are currently tracking. Now, the number of keywords that you can track depend on how many codes you purchased in the lifetime deal, okay? Now, I think the, most imp the best thing that I like about this report here are this column, is this column right here, the pages column, because it shows you how many pages are ranking for this keyword. Now, why is this important? It's important because it tells me if I have any keyword cannibalization issues. Okay, so you don't want multiple pages ranking for one keyword. Ideally, you want one page ranking for one keyword. So this tells me right off the bat immediately if I have any issues with keyword cannibalization. Okay, so for these two keywords here, it looks like I have three pages ranking for them. So I definitely need to update and figure out what the issue is. Okay, so you could see the position for these keywords, the change over time. I also like this column too because it does show you visually uh, if it's improved or declined by either green or red color. You could see the search volume, 
cost per click, the competition, clicks, impressions, and CTR. So again, this is um, pulling from Google Search Console data as well. All right, and then as I scroll down here, you could see some high-level keyword ranking information. So you could see how many keywords are in your top three, top 10, so on and so forth, split by desktop, mobile, and tablet. And then you could see additional Google Search Console data. So clicks, click-through rate, impressions. And I like these two widgets right here. So your web audit score. Okay, so you could uh, see how well your site is scoring over time. Right now, my site health is 96. So it's pretty good in terms of site health. Um, it looks like I have uh, 14 issues. So I may want to check out those issues, fix them up, right? Um, and then backlinks widget. So this tells you how many backlinks you have uh, received over time. All right, and it splits it out by types of backlinks. And then these last two widgets here are keyword related. All right, so new keywords and then keyword suggestions. I like the keyword suggestions because it does show you some uh, keywords that you may not have thought about that you may want to start tracking or um, if you don't have any content for those keywords, you can figure out a content plan so you can start uh, ranking for these keyword suggestions, okay? Now, next up is the keywords report. So this is where you do all of your keyword research. Okay, so uh, you add your keyword here, select your country, select your language, and click on submit. And all of your reports will be listed out right here. I do have one report, Car Accident Lawyer Los Angeles. So you could see the average cost per click, the difficulty. And I like this bar graph because it shows you over time what the search volume is over the past year. So this tells you whether or not this keyword has any seasonality, right? And then these are all of the uh, related keywords. So uh, Brand Overflow found 57 related keywords, okay? Now you could see all of the 57, or you could see the questions, the shopping, the comparison keywords, phrases, research, or local, okay? And then you could see the sentiment, the similarity, what types of keyword it is, what the search volume is, cost per click, uh, trend over the past year. And if you find the one you like, you can just add it and start tracking it, all right? Now, the next tab here is tree. So this one is kind of like answer the public. So it basically turns this list into a tree format, right? So um, right now, it'll show you. So phrases are zero, so you can see zero, but you see questions are 32. So if I scroll down to questions, this is how the graph looks like. So basically like answer the public, okay? So these are all of the questions grouped together. So all of the why will questions, where can questions, so on so, and so forth. So this will give you a very visual overview of how the keywords relate to one another. And this give you, gives you some ideas in terms of what types of content you may want to create for your website, all right? Now the next tab is grouping. I really like this tab because this, it kind of reminds me of, um, of Surfer where they do have their groupings as well. So uh, you can create individual pages for all of these squares here. And within those pages, you can target the keywords that are listed within these squares. Of course, whichever makes sense, right? So I think one that really makes sense is cost of lawyer, cost of car accident, lawyer Los Angeles. So you can create a page around how much a lawyer car accident lawyer in Los Angeles costs, and then you can target these three keywords in your body copy. And you can do the same for all of these other squares right here. And great way to um, immediately get a full list of content that you can create over the next you know, six to 12 months. And then you have all the keywords here that you should be targeting on those pages. So a really great way to build out a robust content plan for your website, all right? Now the next report is backlinks. Okay, so you add your domain here, click on submit, and then your reports will be here. I have one right here, so this one uh, shows you top level, you know, how many backlinks you have, um, and then you could see split it out by do follow, edu links, uh, government links, so on and so forth. And then this graph here shows you any new and lost backlinks over time. Okay, you could zoom in, and see you know, what date you received new backlinks or which dates you've lost backlinks, 
right? And then the second graph here shows you the domains, right? So it looks like I've uh, got backlinks from, you know, a couple of domains here. I lost a backlink from a domain here. And then I could scroll down and see additional, okay, information about those backlinks, right? So uh, the backlinks here, the types, okay, number of backlinks, if they are do follow or not, and then the domains, okay, like where, uh, what domains the backlinks are coming from, right? And then you could see in detail the specific backlinks you've received, what pages those backlinks are pointing to on your website, what type of backlink it is, and then the anchor text. Okay, so if you are auditing a website and trying to see if that website has any spammy backlinks, this is a great report to look at. Um, see what the anchor text is like, if it's kind of more legit or spammy, this is the report to look at, okay? Now, the next up is audit, okay? So you add your domain, tell it how many pages you want it to crawl and click on submit. So I have my audit report right here. So it tells you at a glance what your performance is like. Okay, so it, I'm currently scoring at 96%. It crawled 100 pages, and out of those pages, 72 are in the sitemap. So immediately I know that maybe I should be adding some pages, more pages in my sitemap because not all of them are in my sitemap. And then pages and links. So this just tells you the total pages um, and their sitemaps, internal and external links, okay? And then I like this list here because it shows you all the issues that need to be fixed, okay? So for your clients, for your websites, um, you can see what needs to be addressed. So I have six pages that have missing H1 tags, 14 pages with missing H2, so on and so forth. And then you can even click onto here and see which of those pages are affected. Okay, and it gives you a description and explanation as to why H1s are important. All right, and then this next tab here is content. So this is all the issues related to content. Okay, so it shows you how many duplicate page titles I have, how many are too short, how many are too long, how many are missing. Same with meta description, headings, and then technical SEO. Okay, so it shows me any indexation issues. All right. Um, sitemap issues, so it looks like I have quite a bit of URLs that are not in my sitemap, so that definitely needs to be addressed. And links, okay, so it shows me how many broken links I have, all right? And the internal link report shows you um, how many pages are have internal links and how many pages don't have internal links. 54 pages, that's actually quite a bit, so I may need to work on uh, this internal link issue right here. Okay, so this audit report is pretty thorough. Um, this gives you probably, you know, two to three months worth of work um, for your clients. Okay, so excellent way how it lays everything out and it tells you what you need to fix. All right, so that's kind of like how overview how this works. I think my favorite parts of the tool are the keywords report and the audit report. Backlinks report is okay. It definitely um, has a lot of room for improvement. I would definitely use this tool for the keywords and the audit section. Now, for the lifetime deal, it starts at $79, okay, for 200 tracked keywords, okay? And the more codes you stack, it basically doubles all of uh, your limits, all right? So with stack one, stack two, Stack three, it opens up the agency features. So if you are wanting to use brand overflow for um, your agency, if you are a marketing consultant, it may make more sense to do stack three or above. Um, but if you're doing this for maybe just your site, um, stack one or two would be sufficient. I wouldn't go more than that. Um, but if you wanna do this for your clients, definitely go with stack three or higher. Okay, so again, guys, if you want um, access to this uh, SEO audit and roadmap checklist for free, click the link in the description. And with that said, if you wanna check out my other videos, feel free to click any of the videos on the screen. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying this content. All right, I will see you in the next video.